I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from a subscriber. Let me thank all the subscribers and viewers to post excellent questions and watch my videos. The question here is represent the point 3 minus 2 pi by 3 on polar coordinate and convert it to rectangular or Cartesian coordinate. So we are given a point, let's name this point as P as 3 minus 2 pi by 3, right? So, you know, in polar coordinate, normally, we'll just refer points with r and theta, where r is the magnitude and theta is the positive angle made counterclockwise, right? Now, if it is negative, that means we are moving from the positive x-axis, which is the initial arm. Let me sketch this and show you what I'm trying to say here. So in polar coordinate, we basically have uh, a point which is called the pole. And uh, the angle is measured counterclockwise, which is positive. If you go clockwise, then it is negative. The magnitude 3 will be represented by the length of the arm. So initially, the arm is along the positive x-axis, let's say in this position. The length of this arm will be 3 if we are locating the point 3 minus 2 pi by 3. So that becomes the length of the arm, let's say 3 units, let's call it 3 units. Now moving 2 pi by 3 with a negative sign really means that you have to go clockwise 2 pi by 3. So let me just uh, sketch the coordinate plane also and then we will, uh, so 2 pi by 3, this is 1 pi by 3 let's say and this is 2 pi by 3, right? So somewhere here it becomes 2 pi by 3, same length as 3, so we will give us a point P. So that becomes the point P, which is 3 minus 2 pi by 3, as you can see here, right? So that's the pole and that's the initial arm. This becomes the point P. Right? Let me call this as, as original. Now we'll write this coordinate point in terms of rectangular coordinates. So I think the first step is clear. So 2 pi by 3 is the angle, which is moved clockwise since it is negative 2 pi by 3. Now if you look into the Cartesian coordinate then we can actually just uh, not draw a Cartesian coordinate on this. So basically that becomes an xy plane. Now in Cartesian coordinate a point is represented by x and y value. The x value is equal to if r is the length r cos theta and y value is r sin theta. Right. So in our case r is 3. So in our case we have r equals to 3 and the angle theta you could take acute angle also and then make the value negative or you can take minus 2 pi by 3 direct also. So we could write this as 3 cos minus 2 pi by 3. Get the value. Similarly for y value we can write 3 sine minus 2 pi by 3. Now I'm not telling you to convert them to acute angle, find the angles and all those things. You could do it direct also, that's the whole idea. Now your calculator should be in radian mode, that is very important, otherwise you may get a wrong answer. Now let's calculate 3 cos of minus 2 pi divided by 3 is equal to what? You could use special triangles to get this answer. So uh, 3 times cos of minus 2 pi by 3 is minus 3 by 2. So get this value, x value as equal to minus 3 by 2. And for y value, you get 3 times 
sine of minus 2 pi divided by 3 equals to minus 3 square root 3 by 2 and this value you get minus 3 square root 3 pi so as you can see both are negative you are in quadrant 3 and that is what is expected and therefore I could write this point as point minus 3 by 2 and minus 3 square root 3 by 2 so that becomes the coordinate point in Cartesian plane so I hope it is absolutely clear feel free to write your comments and share your views Thanks for watching, subscribing my videos and all the best.